Hello, we will solve the next lab of the JSON Web Tokens attacks topic from the Web Security Academy. The name of the lab is JWT Authentication Bypass via JWK Header Injection. Okay, I use the built in browser of Burp and I also use the JWT Editor extension of Burp. Okay, go to your browser and click the My Account link. Log in as Wiener with the password Peter. And you see in the HTTP history, there are some requests are highlighted. That means that these requests contain JWTs. Okay, we need the get request to the endpoint my account, send this request to Burp Repeater and switch to Burp Repeater. Here go to the request line and change the my account to admin and send the request. In the response section, you see we received an HTTP 401 unauthorized. That means we can't access the admin panel as the user Wiener. <coughs> okay, now go to the JWT editor keys and click the new RSA button. Now click the generate button leave everything as it is, generate and click OK. The key size doesn't matter because it will be updated later automatically. Click OK and here is our new generated SR key. OK, go back to Burp Repeater and here click the subtab JSON Web Token. So, OK. Now go to the payload section, or of course resize the request section until you see the three buttons. Go to the payload section and replace the value of the property sub to administrator because we need that user to access the admin panel. And now click the attack button. Here, select the option Embedded JWK. And here we have to select our new generated ASR key. Click OK. And now if you look to your header, you see there are some new entries. Here's the JWK property. And this containing our new public key. Okay, go to the subtab raw because it looks better and send the request. And in the response section, you see we received an HTTP 200 OK. That means we can access the admin panel. Now our task is to delete the user Carlos. For that we use the path or we look for the path to delete the user here, admin slash delete question mark username equal Carlos. Copy this one and go to the request section and replace the admin endpoint with our copied past. Send the request again and you see of course in the browser we have we solved the lab and if you click in the verb repeater the follow redirection button you see we received also a HTTP 200 OK in the response section. Scroll down to the message and here you see user deleted successfully.